morning. So this morning um, I should have been running a poetry workshop which obviously had to be postponed. Um, while we're all stuck at home, uh, alongside any work we may have to do and any other chores and things, we're going to do all sorts of things to keep ourselves entertained. And obviously you can go doing exercise etc etc but also being a creative I find writing poetry really good fun and I just thought I would talk to you about a type of poetry that you could have a go at. Now when I was a teacher in music education in the early 70s well mid 70s um, there was a lot of sort of free music going on and the idea that you just set the children off and get them to create oh I'll just go and do it without any guidance. So often it's much easier to work within a format or a structure than just to go for it. And a lot of people go, well, I can't write poetry, I can't think of words that rhyme, I can't think of, of really clever words. You don't have to. It's just talking from your heart about things you're passionate about, how you feel emotionally. And the poem I'm going to talk to you about, you don't have to rhyme. So this poem is called a Sanquain, spelled C-I-N-Q-U-A-I-N. Um, it was invented by a lady called, and I'll never get her first name right, it is Adelaide Crapsey, great surname, and she was born in 1828 and died in 1914, and she invented this poem, and it has a really specific structure. It has five lines, the first line is just one word, the second line two words, the third line three lines, the fourth line four words, and the fifth line one word. But the rule has to be, the first line is the word, the title, the thing that you are writing about. Second is just two words which are adjectives to describe the thing. So she, her, the one, one of the first ones she wrote was about snow. So it was snow and her two words to describe them was lovely white. The next line is three words that tell the reader more about the subject. And you can often use words ending in ing or even ed. Um, so she had falling, dancing, drifting. The next line, you write a four line. It could be a little um, sent phrase or just individual words about the emotions of how you feel about the subject. And then the last line is a synonym of the first word or a word which is similar to it but not the same and you'll see what I mean when I tell you her poem. So her poem is called Snow. Snow, lovely, white, falling, dancing, drifting, covering everything it touches, blanket. Now you see what I mean? Snow is a blanket, it covers the earth. So she's very cleverly, if you put up snow, I doubt you would find the synonym of blanket. But you can see what I mean about the idea of it. It works with all sorts of things. So I did one about clouds. Clouds, fluffy, soft, floating, gliding, moving, shapes in the blue, candy floss. Um, I did another one about us in the situation we're at at the moment. Um, and it's isolation. It's called isolation, solitude, calm, learning, rejuvenating, resting, time to slow down, serenity. Now you might not see it like that, but other people might. I'm taking thing, this time as a time to relax, slow down a bit, because we do rush around so much these days. Um, so have a go. Why not just try doing some poetry? If you want to have a go, I run a little um, closed Facebook page. It's a group called Liz's Writers. If you would like to join, then please comment in the comments underneath this post and I will invite you. And then you can just share your poetry. We will not ever pass bad comments. It, people are sh thrown off if they are negative. You can be helpful and constructively helpful, but anybody who is just nasty or negative, they're gone. So please have a go at the challenge. Have a go at writing your own little poems. Children can do these as well because it's got quite a, um, an easy role and format for them and there are words in there that they understand the idea of adverbs and other sorts of Englishy words which they learn some of which I still don't know at my age anyway have a lovely day and I hope this is useful take care bye